I'm John Williams. Welcome to another accessible adventure in the Pacific Northwest. We're on the Stevens Pass Greenway, a national scenic byway. Now maybe you've traveled this road before, but if you're like me, you probably didn't slow down enough to see what the pass offers off the road. So on this trip, we're going to take our time. After spending the night in Everett, we head east on U.S. Highway 2, the Stevens Pass Greenway. Stevens Pass is named for John Frank Stevens, who in 1890, working for the Great Northern Railway, determined it to be suitable for an east-west rail line through the Cascades. This adventure takes us through little towns and hamlets that are ready to serve up mountain hospitality and charm. We took the time for a railroad ride and a tour through the recently restored Skykomish Great Northern Railway Depot, where Kevin and his crew painstakingly preserved this historic treasure. Yep. All aboard! This is one of the most fun things I've ever driven. <laughs> Next up is a stroll through some of the breathtaking scenery you'll only see off the byway. This is Deception Falls. Some websites and guidebooks may tell you the trails are accessible, but true to the fall's name, they're not all accessible. I found plenty to see on the parts that are. Parts of the trail are paved in some hard packed dirt, and it's a little steep in places, but pretty easy going. The lower falls are not wheelchair accessible. You know I had to try it. But even I'm not gonna go over this part of it. Getting to the upper falls is much easier, thanks to this bridge and viewing area. Wheelchairs will have to return the way you came, but if you're able to climb these stairs, it's an easy walk back to the parking lot. Well, after a quick bite of lunch, it's time to take a hike. We're taking a little trip through time here and traveling along the old Cascade Highway. Our next stop, a hike along the Iron Goat Trail. The trailhead starts out as boardwalk, then hard-packed gravel, and finally, near the end of the trail, it's paved. It's 2.8 miles to the Iron Goat Interpretive Site. Now, for the most part, it's an easy push in a wheelchair, with the exception of about, oh, 50 feet of trail or so that gets pretty narrow and grown over with vegetation. I kept asking out loud, how did these guys do this with the equipment available 100 years ago? Finally, make a legal U-turn at Stevens Pass Ski Resort. Come back to Milepost 64. Located on the old Cascade Highway is the site of the former town of Wellington. Here at Wellington Trailhead, you'll find accessible facilities. The trail to the disaster site is hard packed gravel. Boardwalks will get you over the wet areas. And when you reach the snow shed, old railroad ties and timbers will transport you back in time. Roll onto the observation deck at the disaster site. View the interpretive signs as you pause and learn the fate of the town and the people stranded in their train while stuck in the snow. For our more mobile hikers, the trail does continue for about two miles to the Iron Goat interpretive site. Back on the Greenway, we drive by Stevens Pass Ski Resort. We'll visit here on another accessible adventure. We'll round out our accessible adventure with a stop at the Bavarian-themed town of Leavenworth. How's that old saying go? When in Rome, uh, well, you know, there's restaurants, pubs, and plenty of shops. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed our trip along the Stevens Pass Greenway. There's so much to do and see along this route. Be sure to check the website for more details. After a fun time in Leavenworth, we're going to hit the road and find our next adventure. I'm John Williams. I'll see you again real soon.